Shalom to the elect of Israel, which is Yasha Allah. Got to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Raka, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well, who teach well, and a sincere salutation to all the Arctic, pushing this truth throughout the four winds of the earth, waking up the hope for the elect. Coming at you with another lesson, Lord willing be edifying. Shalom to the Agwa for our listening and learning. I'm Isaiah. Coming at you with a less with another lesson in truth, facts, edification. Okay? True facts, edification. This is a, a short clip of uh George Carlin who's exposing the truth of these Edomites. Okay? He's exposing the truth. And a real short three-minute clip about the Edomites, about the elites. The, we'll start with the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, okay? So, Lord's willing, this be edifying. There's a reason. There's a reason. There's a reason for this. There's a reason education sucks. And it's the same reason that it will never, ever, ever be fixed. It's never going to get any better. Don't look for it. Be happy with what you got. Because the owners of this country don't want that. I'm talking about the real owners now. The real owners, the big wealthy business interests that control things and make all the important decisions. Forget the politicians. The politicians are put there to give you the idea that you have freedom of choice. You don't. You have no choice. You have owners. They own you. He they talking own about the Rothschilds. Everything. They own all the important land. They own and control the corporations. They've long since bought and paid for the Senate, the Congress, the state houses, the city halls. they got the judges in their back pockets. And they own all the big media companies, so they control just about all of the news and information you get to hear. They got you by the balls. They, they spend billions of dollars every year lobbying, lobbying to get what they want. Well, we know what they want. They want more for themselves and less for everybody else. But I'll tell you what they don't want. They don't want a population of citizens capable of critical thinking. They don't want well-informed, well-educated people capable of critical thinking. They're not interested in that. That doesn't help them. That's against their interest. That's right. They don't want people who are smart enough to sit around the kitchen table and figure out how badly they're getting fucked by a system that threw them overboard 30 fucking years ago. They don't want that. You know what they want? They want obedient workers. Obedient workers. People who are just smart enough to run the machines and do the paperwork and just dumb enough to passively accept all these increasingly shittier jobs with the lower pay, the longer hours, the reduced benefits, the end of overtime, and the vanishing pension that disappears the minute you go to collect it. And now they're coming for your Social Security money. They want your fucking retirement money. They want it back so they can give it to their criminal friends on Wall Street. And you know something? They'll get it. They'll get it all from you sooner or later because they own this fucking place. It's a big club and you ain't in it. You it's and I only for the elites. The big club. By the way, it's the same big club they use to beat you over the head with all day long when they tell you what to believe. All day long, beating you over the head in their media, telling you what to believe, what to think, and what to buy. The table is tilted, folks. The game is rigged and nobody seems to notice. Nobody seems to care. Good, honest, hard-working people, white collar, blue collar, it doesn't matter what color shirt you have on. Good, honest, hard-working people continue, these are people of modest means, continue to elect these rich cocksuckers who don't give a fuck about them. They don't give a fuck about you. They don't give a fuck about you. They don't care about you at all, at all, at all. Yeah. You know? And nobody seems to notice, nobody seems to care. That's what the owners count on, the fact that Americans will probably remain willfully ignorant of the big red, white, and blue dick that's being jammed up their assholes every day. Because the owners of this country know the truth. It's called the American dream, because you have to be asleep to believe it. Hey, and that was George Carlin telling you, man, okay? They got you blind with the truth, man. Okay, they got you blind with the truth, man. Now, this is Aaron Russo um, with the interview with Alex Jones about the elites. I'm going to play this clip. This is Aaron Russo who... 
uh, he said um, one of the Rockefellers befriended him and told him what their agenda was. I'm honored to be interviewed by Alex Jones, a truth seeker, fighting for justice in America. Alex Charter is going to be all smiling. <laughs> Wish their so, ultimate goal is oh, to have oh, everybody oh, chill by 2020. Is the goal to um, create a one world government run by the banking industry, run by the bankers, where, and then they're doing the inceptions. The, the European currency, the euro, and, and the European constitution is one part of it. Now they're trying to do it in America with the North American Union, right? And they want to create a new currency called the Amero, right? And uh, the, whole, the, the whole agenda is to create a one world government where everybody has an, R, R, an RFID chip implanted in them. All money is to be um, in those chips, right? There'll be no more cash. And this is getting me straight from Rockefeller himself. This is what they want to accomplish. No more cash, and man. No money will be in your chips. Okay. And so, any so that instead of having cash, anytime you have money in your in your in your chip, they can take out whatever they want to take out whenever they want to. If they say you owe us this much money in taxes, they just deduct it out of your chip digitally. Total control. Total control. And if you're like me or you, and you're protesting what they're doing, they can just turn off your chip. And you have nothing. Right. You can't buy food. You can't do anything. It's total control of the people. And that chip's connected to a database that has your purchasing records, what you do, what everything. You sell. Everything is in there, you know. And so they they want a one world government, controlled by them. Everybody being chipped. All your money in those chips, and they control the chips, and they control people, and you become a slave. You become a serf to these people. That's their goal. That's their intentions. Eric, can you be specific about when you met Rockefeller, how it happened in these discussions? Uh, I met Rockefeller through a female attorney I knew who called me up one day and said, uh, one of the Rockefellers would like to meet you. I made a video called Mad as Hell, and uh, he'd seen the video and wanted to meet me and knew I was running for governor of Nevada. So sure, I'd love to meet him. And I met him, and I liked him, and uh, uh, he was a very, very smart man. And uh, we used to talk and share ideas and thoughts. And um, he's the one who told me uh, 11 months before 9-11 ever happened that there was going to be an event. Never told me what the event was going to be. But there was going to be an event. Now, when you watch the movie, like George Collins said, they want everybody to sleep, okay? Now, when you watch the movie with um the wrestler... um. Ryder Ryder Piper, it's called They Know. Okay, when you put on the glasses, you see the truth. But without the glasses, you are asleep. Okay, zombies, dead men walking. Now, now George Collin, the first video I played, he said they want you to sleep, and they're going to keep you sleep, not knowing the truth. This is 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 5. Ye are all children of the light. Talking about the Israelites, the elect of them. Ye are all children of the light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others. What George Collins said, he got us sleep. They got our people sleep, man. Okay? Let us. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But, but let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for inhalement, the hope of salvation, okay? So we ain't sleep, man. That's why 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11 say, we are not ignorant of Satan's devices, man. Okay? Least Satan should get advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices, man. We know what the business is. We know the truth, because the son of perdition has been revealed, man. Now, this is Aaron Russo telling you that they want everybody chill by 2020, man. And out of that event, uh, we were going to invade Afghanistan to run uh, pipelines from the Caspian Sea. And that happened. We are going to invade Iraq. And that happened. You know, to take over the oil fields, establish a base in the middle. This East, happened already, man. And make it all part of the new world order. And we go after Chavez in Venezuela. That happened too, and, man. Uh, sure enough, Okay. later 9-11 happened. And I remember he was telling me how, <laughs> how you're going to... See soldiers looking in caves, 
for people in, you know, in Afghanistan and Pakistan and all these places. And it's and there's going to be this war on terror, uh, which is no real enemy. And the whole thing is a giant hoax. It's a giant it's hoax, man. For the government to take over the American people. He told you it was going to be a hoax. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's no question. He says, there's, there's going to be war on terror. And he's just laughing. There's no... <laughs> Who are we fighting? I mean, why do you think 9-11 happened and then nothing's happened since then? Do you think that our right. security is so great here that these people who pulled off 9-11 were able to can't knock down another plane? Come on, it's ridiculous. 9-11 was done by people in our own government and our own banking system to perpetuate the fear of the American people and to subordinating themselves to anything the government wants them to do. Order out of KO, man. To create this, war, okay. this endless war on terror. And that's why we, and that was the first lie. And the next lie was going into Iraq, you know, uh, to uh, get Saddam Hussein out with his weapons of mass destruction. That was the next lie. Now, now specifically, this was a little over six years ago. This was... 11 uh, months before 9-11. Yeah. And Nick Rockefeller, he's a lawyer, he is, he, he's become your friend over the previous years. And he's saying to you that there's going to be this big event, and then out of that we're going to have a war on terror, and it's just going to go on and on. Right. An endless war on terror without, without any real enemy. But you can never, so you can never define a winner. And, and uh, did he say that it's going to be perfect because you can't define an enemy? It just goes yeah, on? Yeah, because you can't define a winner. There's no one who's on to beat, so it goes on and on forever. And they can do whatever they want. They scare the hell out of the American public. Look, this whole war on terror is and a That's what they do, man. It's, it's called problem, problem, reaction, solution, man. Say it out loud because people are intimidated against saying it. Because if you say it, they want to make you into a nutcase. Let's but, the truth, but the truth has to be, the truth has to come out. That's why I'm doing this interview. The fact of the matter happens to be that the whole war on terror is a fraud. It's a farce. The end is a war going on in Iraq because we invaded Iraq. And people over there fighting, you know. But the war on terror, that's a joke. You know, and until we discover what really happened on 9-11 and who was responsible for 9-11, because that's where the war on terror emanates from. That's where it comes from. It was 9-11 that allowed this war on terror to begin. And until we get to the bottom root of 9-11, the truth of 9-11, we'll never know about the war on terror. Aaron, you said that he was, and I think it's important, and I know this about the Rockefellers, from Dr. Dennis Cuddy and many others, who literally... He'll be 20 years old in a lunch line at college, and it was David Rockefeller. And he hears your, I mean, they're experts at recruiting and getting what they call players. And that clearly he was, I mean, I want to make it specific and just get you to reiterate what you said last night uh, about you were, you got 30% of the vote, you were having an effect, you, you, you made mad as hell, they knew that you'd started the Constitution Party, yeah. they knew that you were uh, somebody who's taking action and getting things done, you'd already made some big films, had a lot of other successes. Right. So they were trying to recruit you, and, and didn't it come down to the point of, hey, we are here to recruit you, and don't worry, your chip's going to say, don't mess with us. You know, this guy's, uh, don't touch. Yeah, yes, that did happen. Now, I was definitely being recruited, but it's more subtle than that. Well, if your words, just go through the process, and then, and then what do you say? Well, what it is is, I remember, we were friends, and we used to, have, we used to go to my house a lot, we'd have dinner, we'd talk. And he'd tell me about business investments, how you get involved in, you know, or they would help me with this business investment or that business investment. And was I interested in joining the Council on Foreign Relations? You know, I would have to get Atlanta to join them, but was I interested in that? And, uh, you know, just uh, just stuff, you know, leading you on. And, and uh, I used to say to him that I never really did that because well, that wasn't where I was coming from. You know, as much as I like you, Nick, you know, your ways and my ways, we're, the, we're on the opposite side of the fence. You know, I don't believe in enslaving people, you know, and... Um, and he would come back with, oh, I do? Or, well, it'd be more like, you it's know... It's better for them. Well, it's more like, you know, um... How do I put it? It was like... And they killed this man, 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 because he exposed the truth. People. Just like they killed what George Carlin, man. They had to get rid of your own life. Do the best you can for you and your family. What do the rest of the people mean to you? They don't mean anything to you. They're just serfs. They're just people. We you just know, basically cattle, man. That's why they want everybody to chill. 
Okay? Because we basically just cattle to these elites, man. It's just like cold, you know? It's just like cold. The devils, man. And I said, what's the point of all this? You have all the money in the world you need. You have all the power you need. What's the point? You know, what's the end goal? Exactly, man. The end goal is to get everybody chipped. To control the whole society. To have the, to have the bankers, the, the elite people, you know, the bankers and some government controlling the world. What, and, and, and I said, oh, do all the people in the council of foreign relations believe this way you do? He said, no, no, no. You know, it, it, most of them believe they're doing the right thing. A lot of them believe it's better, it's better off being socialistic. You know, we have to convince people that capitalism, that socialism is really capitalism. This America is becoming a socialist country. It's a communist country today. Well, one of the things they told me was that um, he grew up with, he was at the house one night, and uh, we were talking, he would talk, and he started laughing. He said, Aaron, what do you think women's liberation was about? And uh, I said, I, I had pretty conventional thinking about it at that point. And I said, I think it's about women having the right to work, getting equal pay with men, just like they won the right to vote, you know? And he started to laugh. He said, you're an idiot. And I said, why am I an idiot? He said, you want me, let me tell you what that was about. We, the Rockefellers, funded that. We funded women's lib, you know? And we're the ones who got all over the newspapers and television, the Rockefeller Foundation. He says, and you want to know why? He said, there were two primary reasons. And they were, one reason was, we couldn't tax half the population before women's lib. And the second reason was, now we get the kids in school at an early age. We can indoctrinate the kids how to think. So it breaks up their family. The, the, the kids start looking at the state as the family, as the school, as the officials, as their family, not as the parents teaching them. And so those are the two primary, the primary reasons for women's life, which, which I thought up to that point was a noble thing. You know, when I saw their intentions behind it, where they were coming from, when they created it, the thought of it, I saw, I saw the evil behind what I thought was an That's offense. That's why we should be homeschooling our children, you know, man. Because they are indoctrinating them with white supremacy, man. CIA funded in this magazine? No, I had no idea about that. No, I never heard that. Yeah, we're gonna CIA funded in this magazine? Funded in this magazine with the stated goal of taxing women and breaking up the family. No kidding. I never heard that. Well, then Nick told me. I mean, I mean, I know it, but not because I know the CIA was involved in it. Well, she, Gloria Stein was proud of it. Oh, the CIA wanted to help me help women. No and kidding. So they funded it. Yeah. And, and of course, it's divide and conquer. Right. And, and what they do is they focus in, obviously, on real problems. Women were getting shafted. This is Esau Edom, the, the, the so-called white man at his best, man. Take men away from Being them. wicked, man. Black families. You only had about 10% illegitimacy 50 years ago. Uh, in black communities, and now it's over 90%. And look at welfare. You were going to give me some money, but you can't have a man in the house. Right? And so that was further. And that's what Esau pushed, man. Totally destroyed. To make these women head of the household, man. Over 50% in the general population. Right. Well, see, the whole thing is. Destroy our, our women, man. Okay? The Destroy them, man. You understand? And, and they put whatever rules they want into effect. And the truth is, America has really become a socialist, communist country. And nobody, everybody says it's a capitalist country. It's not a capitalist country. You know, how can it be capitalistic when you have a central bank? <laughs> That's the first, you can't, it can't be. You know, the it's money, a plan to come. It's a plan to come. It's, it's, it's a phony. If they want to create prosperity, they just print Edom dollars. Edom is the border of wickedness, man. The okay? And then, and then, they they are the physical seeds of you know, Satan, like man. The spiritual you demon Satan, have, man. You just have Money, and their job is to deceive, destroy. Which only makes the okay? To, to deceive and to destroy, it. man. Now, I'm going to play one more clip. And this is titled, Rothschild and Rockefellers run the Federal Reserve and control the media. That is all over the internet. I, I don't know if you guys have heard of it. It's called Wikibuy. Um, it's and locking. I actually get rid of like this. It. This is called Rothschild and Rockefeller run the Federal Reserve and control the media. You have owners. They own you. They own everything. They own all the important land. They own and control the corporations. They've long since bought and paid for the Senate, the Congress, the state houses, the city halls. they got the judges in their back pockets. And they own all the big mates. Media, media news, all the big media companies, so they control just about all of the news and information. This is George Carlin again the from the first three-minute clip I played. The Federal 
Reserve is an independent agency, and that means basically that uh, there is no other agency of government which can overrule actions that we take. And so long as that is in place and there is no evidence that the administration or the Congress or anybody else is uh, requesting that we do things other than what we think is the appropriate thing, then what the relationships are uh, don't frankly matter. They know what they want. They want more for themselves and less for everybody else. And okay. who got the money? Hundreds and hundreds of banks, any bank or that has uh, access to the U.S. Uh, Federal Reserve's discount. Tell us who they are. No, because the reason that is counterproductive and will destroy the value of the program is bullshit. The he didn't even want to say who they are, man. He's terrified. Okay, he didn't want to say that's the Rothschilds, man. You don't. Look at this demon right here. It's all a big joke, man. I don't know how to work any harder than we're already working. Bullshit. And I, I take your feedback very seriously. Bullshit. That's why we're working as hard as we are, and we're just going to keep doing and trying to accomplish and meet your expectations. Bullshit. Where would we be without our safe, familiar American bullshit? I don't think anyone questions, Mr. Kashkari, that you're working hard. Bullshit. Our question is who you're working for. Who they work for? Here you go right here. This Elvin and Rothschild right here. You see. This David Rockefeller and who died. Okay? They don't want well-informed, well-educated people capable of critical thinking. Not Elvin and D. Not Rothschild not and David Rockefeller, who you just seen. We are controlled by the Rothschilds, man. They don't want that. It, it, it's past the point of talking. Look here. Um, we know historically, this is um, a Rothschild right here. Um, to these issues is, is Rothschild on Copenhagen. Is, 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 with all the best intentions, it's very hard to actually activate. Uh, we're seeing that right now. We're seeing a lot of friends. And he actually looked like Cesare Borgia, Cesar Borgia, who you worship, Jesus Christ. That's him right there. Okay? What we really need to see is this Rothschild right here. To actually act upon the low he actually people is Cesare Borgia and reincarnation lookalike, man. They're just dumb enough to passively accept all these increasingly shittier jobs. With the lower pay, the longer hours, the reduced benefits, the end of overtime, and the vanishing pension that disappears the minute you go to collect it. And now they want your fucking retirement money. They want it back so they can give it to their criminal friends on Wall Street. Nobody questions things in this country anymore. Nobody questions things. Why? People are too fat and happy. People are way too fucking prosperous for their own good. Everyone's got a cell phone that'll make pancakes and rub their balls now, you know? So, nobody wants, nobody wants to rock the boat. That people, people just, uh, gizmo, Americans have been silenced, bought off and silenced by gizmos and toys. And as a result, no one's ever learned to question things. No one questions things in this country anymore. Hey, so with that, I'm going to read this precept. This is Psalm 64 and 8. So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. And that's what's going on, man. Everybody waking up and fleeing from the wickedness of the Edomites, man. Okay? I'm talking about the elites of Israel. You so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. One-third of them. Two-thirds of our people going to be destroyed and going to keep following the ways of the heathens. And the heathen nations are going to keep following the elites, okay, Edomites. So with that, I want to say all praise to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rekah Quarash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, who teach well, and a sincere salutation to all the ark and pushing this truth throughout the four winds of the earth, working up the hope for the lake.
Shalom to the Akwa for listening and learning. Shalom.